All right, welcome to another episode of um, this has no name, but we'll go ahead and call it Pimp My Smart Home. Today we're going to be installing Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi, but wait, we're going to use a SSD. It's a relatively new feature, so the first order of business is to download the Raspberry Pi OS. Yeah, you might be asking why the Raspberry Pi OS and not Home Assistant. Well, we have to install the Pi OS so that we can flash some new firmware onto the chip in order to be able to boot from SSD. Once you've downloaded this, pick whichever one you want. It doesn't matter. We're going to SSH in anyway. And you're going to go ahead over to the uh, Home Assistant GitHub and get your development build. And it's going to be right here. Raspberry Pi 4, 64 bit image file. All right, so if you watched my previous video on setting up Hyperion, we're just gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna get a headless uh, Raspberry Pi setup going. So go ahead and put your Raspberry Pi OS on there. Select your USB stick holding your SD card and go ahead and flash that thing. Once you're done, open up a, a notepad instance. Put a space, save as, go into your boot folder, SSH, all files, and save it. Then open up another notepad file here, and we're gonna have this jumble here. I'll leave it on the screen for a minute, and you can pause it, go ahead and copy and paste it. Um, here you're gonna put the name of your Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi password. And then you're gonna save it as WPA supplicant.conf. Again, all files, save, and this is gonna log you right into Wi-Fi when we power the Pi up. Okay, so you're either gonna pull up your uh, there your router gateway or you're gonna pull up in my case I've got an access point and I can see everything connected to the Wi-Fi in this room uh, as you can see here the Raspberry Pi is located and here's our IP so it's 22 simple pull up putty 10 22 we are good to go all right now it's gonna be Pi for the login, Raspberry for the password. Okay, now here we just have to execute a few commands. We're going to have to do the classic sudo apt update. We're going to do sudo apt full upgrade. Yes. All right, and three hours later, we're back. Let's go ahead and sudo rpi update. All right, let's see, that was pretty painless. Let's go ahead and sudo reboot. And then we're gonna give it a minute and come back. So we're back, we logged in, we SSH'd back in. And next step is to go ahead and see if we need to install the latest bootloader, all good. Now we're gonna do sudo raspy config. And go to advanced options. Go to boot order, USB boot. Very nice. Now go to advanced options again. Boot ROM version, use latest. No. All right, now here, we are not gonna reboot. We are just gonna shut down. Go ahead and pull up our old friend Etcher again. This time we are gonna grab our home assistant file 
for your target you're going to go ahead and this is the point where you should hook up your external ssd and this thing is going to ask you if you're crazy once you go to flash go ahead and let it happen i've already done so okay so once you've burned the image you're going to go ahead and put the uh external drive into the usb slot on the raspberry pi 4 remove your sd card with the pi os on it and go ahead and plug it back in and start it up give it like three to five minutes and visit homeassistant.local port 8123 and you should arrive at this screen right here all right once you're all set up it should look like this and we're going to go ahead and stop there. We'll get into some more Home Assistant stuff in the future. For now, you've got yourself a nice, low power, higher reliability, and speedier setup of Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stick around for some more straight to the point, good stuff and tutorials.